Um, how many voters do we have? How many registered voters do we have in the house? Okay, all right, I'm in the right place. Well, my, my intent is to convince you to not only register to vote yourself, but to use that franchise and to uh, register others. Because rep reproducing after our, our own kind will, will cause the effect that we want to see happen in our society. Now, <clears throat> being as a, how many would vote if, if they were promised to be murdered? If somebody promised to murder you, to hang you up and burn you alive, I don't think you'd consider going to the polls. Would you? But many brave Americans did, and they, and they got just what they were promised. They were, they were, they were shot, hanged, burned alive because they exercise their franchise to vote. Now, <clears throat> I'm sorry, the, the lack of interest, if, if you will allow me to, to direct, make a direct quote from the uh, uh, Civic Engagement and its in indicators post from the Illinois Civic Health Index 2010 posted December 2nd, 2010, that the lack of interest in election uh, highlights the systematic decency, which means the dissension, and civic engagement and is a stark indicator for why as a society we must evaluate how we engage in the democratic process and how to dismantle institutional barriers to participation. I, I quoted that directly because it, it says everything that I want to say. That, um, <clears throat> that we, the, the history of this country uh, is, is one of exclusion from voting. And it is our responsibility to, uh, to resist that exclusion and include our own interests to make a better life for ourselves and our children. Um, I brought a, uh, a handout. Uh, it's a, nice. It's a, uh, it's a timeline of U.S. voting rights. And you'd be surprised. Um, what's on there, that, that uh, <clears throat> in 1787 at the first uh, U.S. Constitutional Convention, uh, only s less than 6% of the uh, citizens were actually qualified to vote because you had to be a white Protestant and own so much land uh, to qualify. And so, and we've been inching slowly from there. Of course, <clears throat> of course women well, that's what it was. Everybody else was disenfranchised. And everybody else has to sue for their right. <clears throat> Just as a word of, um, of uh, credibility, I, I was a registered voter. It's expired. I was a registered um, um, uh, deputy registrar is what I want you all to be. Deputy registrars can go and register people to vote and, uh, and, 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 and include them in the process. And um, <clears throat> a lot of deputy registrars have been also been killed and beaten and jailed trying to help people to vote. As in uh, the summer of uh, 1964 when, uh, when uh, uh, a thousand people of all races went down South to register people who hadn't had been disenfranchised for over 80 years, ever since the uh, the uh, the uh, federal government took their hands off of uh, enforcing the 15th Amendment uh, <clears throat> and uh, left the southern states to their own devices, which included all the the uh, terrorism involved in. Uh, disenfranchising black people from voting. Uh, so <clears throat> after that we went into Jim Crow and a lot of just a, just a lot of terrorism. If somebody can just come in your house, take you out, burn you alive, well then uh, you're terrorized. And you know you know you're not gonna you're not very likely to go out and and uh, step on uh, and there were laws in place because they were allowed the states to to enact laws to uh, take away our uh, take away our franchise. <coughs> well, 
there's a need for change. There's a need for us to, um, to um, register voters. There's a need for us to register to vote and, and to go out and register others. Now that um, I've established that need, hopefully I'd like to, uh, I'd like to, for you, well, I'd like to propose a solution. And that's that, uh, that we uh, become deputy registrars. Well, first of all, that we register to vote. Because that's our, that's our citizen, that's our right as a citizen, and it's also our responsibility. I don't want that to have, to have any doubt in your mind about that. And second, to go out and, and, and compel men and women, or wheresoever you go, to, uh, to also register and vote, and get involved in the civic process. Now, I want you to imagine, if you will, that your voting your vote franchise was taken away from you. Because I discussed how it happened to black people in the South. I mean, also, I wanted I want to shine a light on women. Women could not vote until 1920. They could not own property. They could not inherit uh, uh, goods from, uh, from uh, descendants. They had no rights uh, whatsoever, except what was allowed to them by the uh, white men who, who were in power. And after a long struggle, after many beatings, rapes, jailings, uh, they finally got the, the last state to ratify um, their, their right to vote. And that was a happy day. And so they came out from under the, uh, the oppressor who would decide what was best for them. Now, I want you to imagine seizing power from the oppressors, okay? You run, you run for policy-making officers, and you elect people who are sympathetic to your, your best interests, and uh, your children are, are blessed because you made a stand. Now, um, how you can do that is by becoming a deputy registrar. You can register in Cook County uh, by being sponsored by a, um, an organization, uh, state level, civic or labor organization, and, and you get trained by the clerk's office. It takes uh, one hour. And you, you're given tools, and uh, I've, I've done that. You know, you, I went downtown, I got the, uh, um, the township of, of poll sheets. I went door to door, and uh, people were glad to, for, the, for the opportunity to register to vote. In Illinois, we were behind the, the national average for the knowledge about where and when to register to vote. And when we do that, uh, when we do that, then we can hasten the day that, that for when the Constitution said that all men are created equal, that they're, um, that they're imbued with certain inalienable rights, which among those are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Well, we can make that uh, mean all men and women and of all races and religions are, are, are citizens by uh, exercising our rights as a citizen and encouraging others to do the same. And I thank you for your attention. <laughs>